Welcome to my review, if you are interested in the product, please see the link below the video description. When we reviewed DeWalt's 40 volt max blower, string trimmer, and hedge trimmer, we were impressed. The power tool company's entry into OPE was solid. When we saw the 20 volt max announcement come out, we thought it was a pretty ambitious move in the OPE category. That's not what DeWalt had in mind though. The DeWalt 20 volt max blower and string trimmer are aimed right at the heart of their core user base 20 volt max cordless tool owners. These guys are professional tradesmen, not lawn maintenance pros. When we asked who the target end user is for the DeWalt 20 volt max blower, we were told it's the same guys using DeWalt 20 volt max cordless tools from miter saws to drills and everything in between. What do those guys need OPE for? Actually, tradesmen and contractors don't need to blow leaves across their lawn, they need to clean up their work site. That's why the blower is a lot more relevant than it might appear at first glacé. It's a time-saving replacement for having to sweep everything up. With that in mind, let's take a look at the new blower's performance. DeWalt 20 volts Max Blower First Impressions Setup is super simple for the DeWalt 20 volts Max Blower. There are some really well thought out features on this model. It starts with the battery installation point. The battery is installed underneath the motor housing directly below the center of gravity. This keeps the blower very well balanced. It is also designed to stand off the floor with plastic framing. I like not having to set the blower motor housing directly on the floor. It also serves to protect the battery. I looked from every angle there is simply no way to drop this where the unit will land on the battery. DeWalt also has a built-in cruise control of sorts on the handle. All you do is push the lever forward and it increases the power until you reach your desired level. It's very simple to push the lever with your thumb. Releasing the lever is a little more challenging, but it's just a matter of using two hands to bring it back to the off position. A very small price to pay for a nice convenience. The blower is streamlined for airflow in both the intake and tube. DeWalt went with an intake on the back rather than on the side like we saw in the 40 volt line. They also went for the wide open straight tube compared to the reduced diameter designs of other blowers. The combination should provide maximum efficiency by reducing air friction in the tool and results in outstanding air volume performance. DeWalt 20 volt max blower performance. When I considered the performance of the DeWalt 20 volt max blower, the first thing I did was reflect on the intended use. It's to save me time that I would normally spend sweeping or vacuuming after the job is done. We put it to the test after making a rather large mess with several drills boasting more than 1000 inch pounds of torque. I quickly realized that using a seemingly underpowered blower was actually a good thing in the shop. We have a couple of large clope commercial doors and a traditional door opening in the shop. Trying to control the debris with a 40 volt model at full blast would have been fun, but not productive. Unless you're working without walls, 20 volt power is a good thing. Being able to direct the debris through our commercial door openings was pretty easy. The balance of the DeWalt 20 volt max blower was agreeably excellent. The question is whether or not it saved us time over the broom or dust extractor. It absolutely did. We had significant time savings. Plus, Clint was able to see DeWalt's next innovation the 20 volt max tactical line. Looks like the basic housing design is already in place. Strange they didn't mention anything about this in the manual. Conclusions There's plenty I like about the DeWalt 20 volt max blower, but are there any negatives? Run time is an issue like it is with all cordless blowers right now. The good thing is it should give you plenty to clean up the shop or workspace, especially if you're working at less than full speed. I could also argue for some rubber overmolding to increase the comfort level. If it's important that every speck of dust make it out, I'd suggest that you stick with a broom or dust extractor. Now matter how much control you have with a blower, some dust is going to miss the door opening. Aside from that aspect of using any blower, DeWalt has put together a very well thought out model. I really like the inline design of intake and blower tube. Battery placement and protection show signs of someone that really understands who is going to be using it. When comparing the performance specs to other 20 volt blowers on the market, the numbers are all over the place depending on which brand you look at. The DeWalt 20 volt max blower is clearly put together for the professional tradesman and contractor. 
Since it's on DeWalt's 20V max battery platform, DeWalt fans aren't forced into another battery charger combination. Rather than a landscaping tool, it's a grab-and-go solution for the DeWalt 20V max user to improve productivity and get the job of cleanup done faster. Thank you for watching.